Hello, my name is Vanna Giselle and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make homemade corn tortillas with just two ingredients and how to make homemade Mexican rice from scratch in just 20 minutes. So to make tortillas, you need maseca flour. Also, you need a tortillera which is what you use to put pressure on the flour to make them flat. And the last ingredient is boiling hot water, which is what I was doing back here, and it's already ready. As you can see, there's steam coming out. What I've done is I poured two cups of flour in a bowl. Now, you're going to put slowly hot water into the bowl. Now, then you're going to start mixing. Now that your masa looks like this, before you start handling it, you need to put cold water on your hand. Now, you're going to put the spoon to the side and you're going to start handling it. What you're going to do is bunch up all of it together. And once you have it, what you're going to do is you're going to start pressing down and folding. Now you're going to punch it up together now that you've been folding and start making a ball. Okay. Now that you have your ball, you're going to grab a pinch, roll it up, and you're going to grab your first three fingers and press down. It should be about this size. So, now that you have your first tortilla, you're going to grab your tortillera. And I'm going to put this here first. Okay. So, you're going to rip a um, Ziploc bag. And as you can see, there's already a line right here, right? You're going to put your bag flat on your tortillera. Then, this is going to go straight in the middle, okay? You're going to close it. You're going to press down lightly. Open it. And you're just going to flip it like so. You're going to do another press and your tortilla should look something like this. Now you're going to lightly open it. Then, now that you have it open, you're going to flip it over and be careful not to rip your tortilla. To cook your tortilla, what you need to do is you're going to grab it from the top to make sure you don't burn yourself. Then you're going to slowly place it on here and now you're going to let it cook. Okay. Now when you see the edges folding upwards, you're going to grab it and turn it over. And you let it cook. It's going to turn into a little bubble. It's starting to inflate. It helps a little if you tap on it. Okay, so now you take it out and that's the steps to make tortillas. That's approximately the amount you're going to end up with with two cups of flour. Okay, the first step to making Mexican rice from scratch, you need to get a pan and put water to boil. For two cups of rice, you need 
five cups of water. While your water is boiling, make sure you take out tomatoes, onions, garlic, and a chicken. Now what you need to do is cut your onion. This is a good amount. Make sure you have one clove of garlic and cut the end right here. For the tomatoes, put them inside a container to cook in the microwave. I put the tomatoes to cook for 5 minutes and 30 seconds. For la, el caldo de tomate and el caldo de pollo, you're going to get a tablespoon. The amount that we're going to get from each of these is half a tablespoon. Next, you're going to pour your seasonings inside of the blender. I just put two caps of mozzola oil. First, you put in your garlic, clove, and your chile before anything else to make sure the oil gets a garlicky flavor with a little pink. The recipe I am using to make this rice is my grandma's, my mom's mother. So now that your garlic clove and your chile are both burned, now you can pour the rice. Once you see that it's getting brown, about to burn, that's when you can put in your onion. When your rice is burned, it's supposed to have this color. I'm not sure if the camera catches it to the next to its actual color, but try looking for that. Then you put your tomato in once your onions are cooked and your rice is burned. So now you're going to put in your tomato. Mix it in. And then and then that's when you pour your water that you've been boiling this entire time. Before you cover it up, you need to let it boil for a little bit. It's been about 30 seconds and it's time to cover it up. Now you're going to put your timer for 25 minutes. 10 minutes are remaining and now you're going to turn it off and let it finish cooking by itself with the heat that's inside the pan. There are 10 seconds remaining and then the rice is going to be ready. Four. Three, two, one. Let's see the final result. Ooh. And this is the final result of the rice. Now that we've seen that it's ready, it's time to have a taste test. Mmm. Mm. Now it's time for you to try this recipe and enjoy. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and click the bell for future notifications. I'll see you back next week.